And Nicholas, I, I wanted to maybe just start and ask you a little bit about the rollout so far in the U.S. Because as you mentioned, 5G technology has been available to consumers here for a couple of years. But in a lot of cases, they're, they're not really seeing a meaningful difference for many cell phone customers in the difference between their 5G plans and 4G so far. So when do you think we'll start to see a difference and the really transformative effects of this tech? Fair question. And uh, we have come a very long way in the US. So we do have about 300 million population equivalent in coverage, but it's in the low band to your point. So the performance is uh, slightly better than 4G, but certainly not transformative. Uh, we then have uh, seen deployments uh, now in the mid-band spectrum, which is where you get some of the really high throughput and some of the unique performance characteristics of 5G. But you could say we've only come halfway, so there is about 160 million of the U.S. population coverage. And then the exceptionally uh, high performance you get when you deploy 5G in the very high bands, the millimeter wave bands, that's now available in 75 cities. But your, your point is fair. We're in the middle of the build out across the country, but you will start seeing exceptional performance starting uh, to translate into innovative services now. I think the next 12 to 18 months is when this is really going to take off, when these unique capabilities, the truly differentiated 5G capabilities, get exposed to developers and they can start programming on this new pervasive innovation platform, that's when we'll see the real innovation happening in both, I guess, for the benefit of consumers, enterprises, but also the public sector for sure. I mean, we've seen a huge acceleration now in healthcare and education, for example. So I think, I think the next 12 to 18 months is when, when this is really gonna take off, but the construction is under full way and we, we we started a slightly disadvantaged in the US because we didn't have a lot of mid-band spectrum available to our customers when the 5G rollout started. So we're playing a little bit of catch up in that sense. 